Okay, so let's look at the network architecture and security course. You should find that each of the sessions will have a, a page set aside for them which will show the labs and also the, the demonstrations. To be able to run the labs then you can either install the vSphere client so once you do that then you should end up with a little icon such as this to be able to access it. This is probably the most preferred method of accessing the, uh, the virtual machines but you can also log in through the web client so let's go with this so you should be allocated a login for the cloud okay so I'm just going to use you'll find there will be a little link down here that you can install the plugin so just go ahead and install that and it should work okay Okay, the, the the most preferred method is probably with the vSphere client, but I'll show you how the the web client works. Okay, so here we are here. So it's up to you how you navigate around. You can go straight to the the VMs and templates here, or you can navigate through vCenter into the VMs and templates, and then. What we've set aside is some folders called Net Security. Okay, so within Production, Sock Lab, then Network Security, Net Security. There are a number of folders in there. Okay, so you'd be told which one you're using. Then just open it up. And so let's let's just power this one off. Okay, so we can see that the, that one there is powered off just now. So if you right click or select then you can actually power it off. Okay so you can power it on. You can power each of them on if you want. Just by right clicking and then you should get the, the, the menu option for that. So once we've powered on, then we can launch the console. And there we go. Okay, so let's just log out from here. So if you want, you can you can reboot the instance. Okay, so we just shut down. And then you can power on. Okay, so so in there that you can actually configure your your devices. There's our Viata firewall. Okay, so let's try logging in to it. There we go. Okay, so that shows our interfaces aren't configured here. You press Control and Alt at the same time and it should take you out of the, the window. So the other method that we can actually use is to be able to use the vSphere client which is better from a usability point of view. And so we'll just log in here. In fact let's log in with the same account. So you can obviously burst out the uh, the web, the instances within inside the web browser. So if you want to look at, uh, let's start up our Ubuntu one here. OK, 
Okay, so here we are. There's the there's the, the vSphere client. I'll just finish off this one here. So I just power on Ubuntu. And hopefully you should see the little picture of the instance there as it boots up. organize our windows with the web browser. They appear one, two, three. Okay, so we can set that up now. And we'll just close this one. So the other method we can use and probably the most preferred one, as we said, is to use the the client. So in this case, sock lab, then net security, and then select the folder that you've been allocated, and then you can power up your machine. Once it's powered up, you can either look at the console here. So that's where we were before. Or what's more typical is that we just open up a console and we pop it out. There we are. There's our Windows one. And there's our Viata one. And there is our Ubuntu one. So in the first lab, this is what we need to set up our basic network architecture. There we go. Okay, so we can send uh, control delete to that. Just the APR. And that's us in there. Okay, so you can just go ahead and uh, you can set up your Vibiata firewall to have a Windows machine on the DMZ. And uh, of course, we set up our network connection here. find the IP part. We can set up an IP address there to be on the same sub-network as our the network connection for the Viata firewall. So we'll just go ahead and shut this one down. And then over here we can just pull up our console. and we can set our details up here. Okay, so we can power off and it should all be fine. Okay, so that shows you how you can set up your machines uh, from, from, from the cloud. Okay, so just to recap, this is the main, f the, the main web page for the course here install your client here or install or run the web and then log in with the details you've been given and you should be good to go.